going on, guys? We're about to talk about the flare, the crybaby, the dude that put hands on his child and said it was okay because he was 6'2". He was 6'2". What, what, am I, what am I supposed to do? He was 6'2", guys. He was 6'2". Apparently, you know, he got beef with Dolly. Dolly Vision. Dolly gotta eat. And I want to hear what Dolly has to say. I'm not really a fan of Dolly. I felt like his conversation with me, even though it lasted only 10 seconds, was really dishonest. And his girlfriend keeps hitting me up. What the hell, man? What, what do you want to talk about? That is weird. Don't do that. Don't do that. It makes me uncomfortable. If the man in the relationship not hitting me up, don't, the girlfriend shouldn't be hitting me up. That's weird. Right? I'm not insinuating anything, but it's just, I was like, what? why is she still contacting me? Um, but let's hear what they got to say, man. Let's hear what he has to say. And you're drinking, people leaving the house at different times of the night. It seems insane to think that all these people covered it up. You know what it takes? One person to get mad at the other person and tell. Here's the thing. When you break the law, you don't have a person break the law with you because right there, that's going to be your co-defendant. That's going to be the person that testifies against you in court. Okay? How you think you're going to keep seven, eight people from telling it? As soon as one of them gets mad, they'll start extorting each other for money. As soon as you make one of them mad, they're going to tell it. There's no way to cover a lie this big. Showing up at people's work, harassing people that have nothing to do with it. When he showed up at the game, and here's the thing. When he was messing with this woman, Okay, well, it's a woman now transitioned from a man. We're going to go into that in a little bit. I believe her name's Angela St. Angelo. Okay, and the hell that Turtle Boy put this woman, okay, we're car woman because she's transitioned from man to woman now, and put her through is unreal. Even got her locked up. So for voice calls that she didn't make, and things of this nature, the things he was saying, calling her, harassing her family. And for anybody to call this man a journalist out there, you're absolutely insane. Okay. You're insane in the membrane. Like Cypress Hill would say, you, you got no brain. Okay. I mean, it's just, it's none. Lack of common sense. Okay. But there's people out here that, you know, that are really into conspiracies. And you twist something and you turn it enough times, they will start to believe this bullshit. And we, you know, when you get somebody with a pea brain, okay, and you get a con man like Turtle Boy, and when I say pea brain, I mean baby gap, he's easily convinced of some stupid shit, okay? This man would buy stupid shit all day long, like it's on sale, okay? He would he would buy into the stupidest shit or he just kisses ass for views. One or the other. Which one is it, baby gap? Which one? Are you just kissing ass for views? Or do you really believe the bullshit that you're out there trying to spin? I would like to really know. Um, no. I've done all kinds. Of I'm not a Dolly fan. But damn it, he right. <laughs> he right. When it come to the things that this guy know how to do, is kissing ass. The glare kissed his ass to having a following he is what we call in the i guess youtube sphere entertainment community in orbiter he's never going to be the guy because he doesn't take the risk of that going out there and doing the stuff himself he orbits bigger channels kisses their butt reacts to that and then gets the following of that or whatever like dwindles or like i guess leaks and funnels out into his follower that's what happens and he's been doing that for years. I remember him when he was Critical K's lackey. She bought all his equipment. And then he went on a spree of literally talking about her nonstop all day, every day, constantly. That's what you do. That's what you do. Kind of in that re uh, pendant research, right on your ass, okay? And I know you a fool. And if you backing anybody, they a fool. I, I think I know every damn thing. So I went into somebody's chat room telling them, you know, y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Karen Reed, y'all didn't deep dive into it. Y'all only go down to the eight foot mark. It's a 12 foot pool, you know? So you had 
you had four more feet to go and I want those four feet and y'all don't know shit. Like an idiot. And he got his ass blocked. Now he want to get up there and shit talk to people like, oh, I ain't trying to shit yeah, talk. That's how you found him from covering this guy? Who's Turtle Boy, man? Who the hell is Turtle Boy? Did I keep hearing this? Who's Turtle? Who's Turtle Boy? Turtle Girl? Is that Dolly? The girl? Who's the Turtle? I keep hearing that damn term being thrown around. Who's the turtle in this situation? But, uh, you know, I'm going to shit talk him. Hey, um, so today, <clears throat> today's not going to be so silly and, and I'm and out the like, so be a lot of jokes. He got that damn dog locked in the closet. You didn't see the man throw the dog around the damn house. Some people should be pet owners. He got a tight ass. No, that's facts. That's what he did. Toss the hell out of that. He, he, Flip that damn dog. Um, and honestly, I could agree. Like some people are not meant to be pet owners, like me, nigga. Like I don't think it's a good fit for me. Noise or this other shit. Like sometimes I think, damn, it would be cool if I had like a little puppy or maybe a cat. And then I think about all the annoying shit that cats and puppies and dogs do and all that extra shit. And I'm just like, meh, now's not the time. Right? I wish people would do that when they are about to be a parent. <laughs> How about you when you think about it and go, hmm, I'm probably gonna be a horrible parent. Yeah, how about we um let's let's use protection, right? I I don't think I'll make a good parent. Right? right not right now. Don't have the resources. Right? That I think that would be a more logical decision, right? Same thing with pets. Same thing. I said Turtle Boy is exposing a bunch of corrupt who the hell is Turtle Boy? Is that an actual person? I thought that was a nickname. Who's Turtle Boy? No disrespect. That's that's a real like that's a YouTuber. The nigga name is Turtle Boy. Y'all lying. His name is Turtle. If I search that, his I'm giving I'm promoting the fuck out of him right now too. So if you think I'm I'm playing him, you know you better pay attention. This is actually me promoting you. Um, but who the hell is this? Okay, this is an actual person. Yeah, I've never heard of this nigga. Not not in any way, shape, or form. Um Okay, he got a follow. It looks solid. Uh analysis. Okay, okay, okay. He's streaming frequently. Ain't like he uh just started streaming too. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I seen him. I just didn't know who the hell this was he was. It's a nickname? Okay. Because I keep hearing that name get thrown out. I didn't know that was a real person. Ass collar on that damn dog wearing that tight ass shirt that he got out the kids department. Okay? That shit is a, a smedium. <laughs> we sing today. Hey, we eye to eye with it. That's how Fang Gang get down. He do uh, got a smedium. You still in my joke? He's still in my joke? Huh? I admit that you watch me, nigga. You be real. I know Dolly watch me. It's Friday now. Um, but yeah. That definitely is me. I've been saying that shit for 20 years, damn near. I remember when I first said that shit, like I was in a group home, like when I was like 14. Um, because maybe 13, maybe right not. I told the dude, what size is that shirt? Some medium? Got a medium shirt? Now, one of the issues is I've been saying that shit ever since. There are baby gap need a nut. Um This case has got a lot of people. Very, very, um, and the case that I'm referring to, obviously, is uh, the, the Karen Reed conspiracy, the mm. John O'Keefe case, and also the, uh, it's also known as the, the Karen Reed case. Um, and uh, normally, I wouldn't even, if it's somebody who I think is absolutely guilty, I'm not, you know, I don't like to give. The, the the perpetrator much notoriety but the problem is is that oh shut up you lying ass dude. you will jump on anything you will sit on any i'm not a dolly fan but he cooking when it comes to this damn glitter yeah. the glitter will jump on anything it's a like real sad thing that I'm, am i technically the glitter source All right when it comes to like other youtubers that have run-ins with him i'm like the longest drama or beef he's had right pause Right, if I'm not mistaken, because me and him started beefing shortly after he built a small following after he left Critical K. And he was like begging me for collabs every day. 
Right. So I think maybe, yeah. I might be. I might be. I don't think he beefed with anybody before me besides Critical Care. Huh. But am I like the source for shit like this? Because I definitely know he'd be lying. Right? But nobody remembers. I'm like, nigga, this nigga, the glare is lying. He laughed that benefits you a few subs, a few views. Shut your lying ass up. Yeah, that's true. Based on everything that I've seen so far, I do personally believe Karen Reed to be innocent. What'd you see? Was you there, baby Gap? Was you there? Was you driving yeah. the snow plow? Did you see the body? Was Trusting him to provide anything for your dad? Nah, that's insane. Trust in the glimmer to provide the, any sort of information, bro. Any sort of information. Right now, nah, that just, that's crazy. You, you would be insane. Was you anywhere around? No, you believe what you was told, okay? Yeah. Um, now, pretty much. Th- this becomes a problem. Uh, in- it's a problem because I think she's innocent. And when I think she's innocent, that means she's innocent. You're one person, man. You're one dude. Everybody else thinks he has been wrong multiple times, bro. Let's not forget that whole uh, what was the little girl name. What was her name? Sophie Long. He's guilty as shit. People with common sense think he's guilty. As they shit. erased that joke okay. from history like it never happened. Turtle Boy is to convince a bunch of people that this lady's innocent. That's not. Simple as that. Mm. The YouTube community in a lot of ways because there are YouTube creators. And I do wish that YouTubers would stop acting like they were detectives. I really wish that, man. Don't worry, baby Gap. I'm going to get to the hypocrite that you're simping for. Don't worry. I got everything he said that don't do to him that he went out and done to other people. I got all that. So don't worry. We're going to get to that. We, you know, first I want to get through, you know, a little bit of the simp of the year. Okay. And then I want to get to a little bit of who he's simping for and the kind of dude this person is. Now, you know, instantly, the first thing I check out of Turtle Boy, he's laughing, talking about me and Karen Reed, we're going to get rich off of this. They're going to make Netflix documentaries, books, and all this shit. Ain't nobody writing no book about no damn Turtle Boy. Nobody cares. Nobody would read it. And one, if they did a Netflix or anything like that, which I doubt they do, it would be on Karen Reed, not some idiot standing outside. Okay? Simple as that. shot that baby gap. That's facts. And then I knew right. What he don't tell you is the reason why him and his son got into an altercation is because his son walked in the room and seen the glare wearing his shirt. And the glare was like, come on, man. You 6'2". You 6'2", man. Come on. Come on, man. You 6'2". Then that this man was in it for money. Okay? It was just a money game. We're going to hear some more of that where he's like, yo, I'm selling these Karen Reed shirts and all this shit. I ain't giving nothing to her. I'm keeping one. So the okay. dude's just out here trying to get paid. Does he care about police corruption? Was he worried about police corruption before? No, no. Nah. Uh-uh. This is a dude that blogged about sports. Turtle Boy Sports. Now it's Turtle Boy. Anywhere you can get a check, I guess. Anywhere you can. Oh, I don't know who Turtle Boy is. I thought he was talking about the glare. Right? The glare 100% didn't care. But uh, Turtle Boy, I don't, I don't know about him. You can get a little scrap of food. I guess this is how some people I say I do. act. Form who I respect very, very much, uh, who happen to be experienced. And yeah, you respect them, but they blocked your ass. Boop, gone, sucker. You out of here. They didn't want to hear your bullshit, right? You come with conspiracy. You're not coming with fact. You're coming with, uh, well, they took the floor out the basement when they were remodeling. Uh, so I finally get why people think Dolly is entertaining, right? Right. And this is, I'm, I'm trying to be unbiased. Me and him had a little run in. I do think that that was just because he was afraid to actually have the conversation. And I was saying certain things that maybe struck a, a nerve with him. I can understand. I just think that you got to handle yourself in a less emotional way, right? Just a less emotional way. Right. But I do believe. That I I see why people, I guess, are intrigued by his content. From what I'm watching, he has a certain type of personality, and he shouldn't take this as disrespect, but some people might. This motherfucker's a clown. <laughs> Yo, Dolly's a fucking clown. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, right? There's two ways you could call somebody a clown in the hood. 
One is that they like some fraud ass. You should never take them serious person. Or one is if you just, you can't take them seriously because everything they do comes off as if it's funny, right? This motherfucker's personality, even the way he's saying certain words is nigga, I would just be laughing at this thing, right? If this nigga could tell you a story about going to the store and getting a soda and somehow you're looking at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And you're laughing. So I see the appeal to it, right? He's like your, your fucking quirky friend that's in the corner saying crazy shit. And he only gets to say that because he's around you. And everyone knows that if they mess with him, you're going to probably slap him around metaphorically. So he just keeps saying quirky ass shit. That's, that's the appeal to Dolly, right? And that's not even offensive because it can have a pill. It's working for the motherfucker, right? I'm like, there's certain things he's saying. I'm just laughing. Like, this guy sounds crazy, <laughs> but not even in a bad way. He's just like, okay, all right. I, I see why people would think you're insane, right? So I get it. I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? And that's not from a place of hate. Actually, I would like to try another conversation with him um, and see if he can be respectful this time. As far as his wife, nah, you tell your wife, don't hit me up until me and you talk, bro. I don't do things like that. I do things the real man way. Me and your girl not going to talk until me and you talk. And then, and then whatever. If she wants to fucking talk about whatever the hell she's hitting me up to talk about, then cool. All right? Let Dolly know. Send him, Send him this clip. Well, they had, why they take the floor out? Well, maybe they wanted to put a fucking new floor in you, dumbass. You know? Uh, if it Wait. was no. He said you were shocked when you found my videos. What you mean you were shocked? He said you were shocked when you found my videos. The FBI now involved in the case. It's a mess. Yikes. Y'all don't know much about the case. I love this channel now, though. Well, thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Bang, gang. All day, man. All day. Bang gang, you already know. Oh, there. No one, the, the snowplow driver said he didn't see him, so he couldn't have been there. I drive down the street all the time, don't see nothing or nothing. I couldn't tell you what was on somebody's fucking yard, can you? But if the snowplow didn't see him, it couldn't have been there, right? It can't be the easy thing that this lady was drunk, which there's video proof that she had been drinking that whole night. She goes to the house. Let's him out, backs over him either purposely or accidentally, which don't matter because she's drinking it still um, manslaughter at, at the least. You know, if you accidentally kill him, it's manslaughter. You said you what watch, it sounds wait, like is you said you watch BX was live in the Athens. Did you say watch or do you mean something else? I watch BX was live in the afternoon. What do you mean? They had been fighting. You watch my lives in the afternoon? Oh, you watch my lives in the afternoon. Is that what you're saying? Kids, little dove, thank you for being a member. According to the kids, they had been fighting. So why would the kids lie? The kids wouldn't have nothing to lie about. Does that mean they were fighting that moment that this... Well, in general, kids lie all the time, bro. <laughs> in, in general. Just in general. Kids lie all the time. Like, constantly. Right, like nah. So I remember the first time I realized kids lie. I was a kid. I think I was like maybe 12, 11 or something like that. And it was this uh, little girl in my building, and she had like a like an older cousin or whatever. I think she was like maybe a year, two years younger than me. I remember one day she walks up to like my mom and whatever. Or no, she tells her aunt, and her aunt walks to her mom and says, "Yeah, your son." cursed at my niece and blah, 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 blah. And my mom's like, wait, what? And she's like, yeah, my niece told me that your son just walked up to her and started cursing her the fuck up. I was like, yo, I looked at my mom like, you know that's a lie. That sounds ridiculous. Right? That sounds crazy. It was so made up. I was like, why would I just walk up and just start cursing out this girl that's like two years younger than me for no reason or anyone at that we was literally at church when my mom was like walking out from church me and my mom was walking out and some woman from church said that to us and then come to find out yeah the girl 100% did lie it was some little girl that had a crush on me so she just made some shit up to get attention right shit like that happens all the time I nigga and I never knew the girl's name then nigga, some girl I remember I used to hang out with her older cousin right that's the reason why I knew who she was because he lived in the building I, I forgot she even lived in the building but just to make some shit up like that, nigga, we all was kids, right? We all were kids. But that taught me, like, sometimes kids just be saying some shit, bro. 
Like these things for all types of reasons, attention, whatever, nigga, whatever. Um, so I don't really know the context on this situation, but when someone says like, why would a kid, nigga, kids make shit up all the time, bro. That's big facts. Kids are going to be honest. But then when a kid gets to a certain age and they realize I could just make some shit up and people just going to believe me because I'm a kid, they will get some shit off, bro. These things will get some shit off. You got to like really have like that, that parent fucking uh, radar. Right, like my mama always knew if someone was lying. Me in general, I was always an honest kid. Right, I prefer to just tell the truth. But my mama, my uncles, they nigga, there's like a lie detector test. Right, they just them looking at you, they can tell you might as well tell the truth. People need more of that. But kids in general, if they don't have like proper guidance, they will lie. They ass off, bro. Right, kids could do anything. They don't have no fucking conscience yet. <laughs> you ain't really got a conscience yeah you got to teach them right from wrong morals and all that stuff happen no it don't that's why i'm saying i can't say that she purposely killed john o'keefe then so you were shocked at how off the glare is yeah, right it could have been an accident but it makes more sense makes more common sense that this lady drinking and driving and we know most fatalities happen because of drinking and driving oh you saying that you wish that uh like what time in the afternoon you saying? Because sometimes I'll be streaming late. I think my thing is I usually stream early in the morning or like late at night, right? Which is a big thing for me. But those are the times where it's like completely quiet. Um, I've been thinking about trying to stream later on in the afternoon or just doing my stream so long that they last into the afternoon. It's just that it'd be so much shit going on, noise, plus me having to do other things, man. Me having to do other things, right? I can't... um focus like fully on being like full time, like full live streamer because I'm doing the editing and shit as as well. Right. Um, but soon, man, soon. Like you talk about like afternoon, like in the evening type of time, like going towards the evening. Right? Or you mean like afternoon, like twelve ish, one ish, stuff like that. That's not what happened. They are wrong. Ha ha ha. I love this time. He got me through my ride to work. Yeah, like I enjoy doing morning streams. Right. It'd be quiet or at least quieter. Right during the weekdays is pretty quiet. Um, around this time, and it starts to pick up around the afternoon. It starts to get crazy. Yesterday, oh my god, y'all saying I want me to stream in the afternoon? It's <laughs> and you didn't want that yesterday. I fucking guarantee I was gonna lose my mind, bro. I don't know what the fuck was they doing construction or something. It sounded crazy. It was a combination of music and loud banging and slamming. Right, I thought they was wrestling. I don't know what was going on, but it was so crazy loud. So sometimes I'm just not able to, but I like to try to stream as much as I can. Evan, not because Let me know what time of afternoon you think, and like just so I can have it in my head. All the corrupt cops, there's likely you're more likely to die from a drunk driver than you are from a corrupt cop. Facts. I don't got the damn statistics in front of me, but I would bet a good amount that I'm right. Okay. Um, uh, Things like that can't really be truly uh, like searched, right? Or really uh, said as a fact, because how do you know, right? Even if you had the statistics for corrupt cops, that would only be for the ones that got caught, right? That would only be for the ones that got caught, if that's the case, which means that the analytics would be inaccurate. So yeah, that's a bad comparison, Dolly. You got to come up with a better example, right? But things like that, yeah, nah, because you never know. <laughs> but if a cop is corrupt, then he never got caught. You, we never know. Especially in a certain time frame, you can't tell me around the Jeffrey Dahmer ever something wasn't going on, nigga. Because I don't know how you can get multiple fucking phone calls, voicemails, go there, see the kid, literally see the fucking child, let Jeffrey Dahmer drag him back into the house. I don't know how you can do all of that and not be corrupt. That, that's not, either you corrupt or you stupid. Either y'all niggas is the dumbest police force I've ever seen in my life. And I asked my mom too, like, cause she, like I was a baby when this was going on. I was like, mom, was that really like, that's how it happened? My mom was like, yeah, <laughs> they, they warned the cops multiple times. Mo they came to the house. They smelled it. They, all of this and Jeffrey Dahmer was still getting his shit off. So, Either some, in my personal opinion, either there was some kind of corrupt shit going on or these niggas was stupid and can't even solve a Scooby-Doo mystery, let alone a Dora Explorer mystery or a Blue's Clues one. <laughs> these, they were fucking up back in the day. Um, but does that mean that, you know, 
all cops are corrupt. No, obviously not. Does it mean that you should be in fear? 18 years old told police officer, no. I met some of the best people in my life and they were cops. I've also met some nasty people that were cops. So you can't really generalize. Now you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Be respectful from the beginning, regardless, even if they are disrespectful. Just keep being respectful and then you'll be good. Usually always works out. This lady, like I said, and if it don't, still, I'm telling don't do nothing. Don't fight back. Don't just don't do nothing. And then it'll work out probably either because you're going to get a check and it makes sure you, you know, you know, drop off a little something to Uncle BXB's boy for, for teaching you how to control your emotions, you know, and you, you know, just deal with the, the BS for the temporary. And with the inconsistent statement, not remembering where she went, you know, if it was an accident. She still has to pay the consequence because in that accident, she took the life of an innocent person that didn't deserve to die. Okay. He won. He shouldn't have been in the car with somebody drinking and driving. She shouldn't have been yeah, drinking and driving. I don't really trust institutions necessarily. I just don't want craziness. Right. And to say that all cops are evil. Or like you got some people saying abolish the police. Like, fam, I, I get it. I, I know what people saying. Like, I get it. Like I was an anarchist for years. <laughs> like man, I was like an like, anarchist from like teenagehood like, into adulthood. So I get it, I understand, but I, I had to realize that that sounds retarded. <laughs> That's a dumbass thing to think. You want all the cops to be gone, nigga? No, Y'all not ready for a Walking Dead Negan lifestyle. Y'all not. Y'all not ready for Mad Max. I am. Y'all not ready. Not my jury did world not ready is what I'm saying. I don't think they want no cops to be here. I think that they should just boost the requirements so we can just get better cops and then reward them by boosting the pay. Like double the pay. Pay cops double what they get paid now, but then make the qualifications that they got to be Captain fucking America, nigga. Or at least bare minimum, Vin Diesel family. Cause something. Something, nigga. Vin Diesel cracking the ground and, and catching criminals. These cops be fat as hell. How are you a fat cop? What are you doing? You ain't catching nobody. How are you a fat? How's there not a, a fucking workout requirement? Why are the cops not like the military? You think you could, you're just going to be a fat soldier, nigga? They're going to make your ass do PT. What are you talking about? We need to make cops do PT. I need them in shape. I need their mind right. I need them seeing therapy, like therapists, like monthly, if not weekly, to get that checkup. And if at any moment in this checkup, they don't seem fit, pull them out. Let's, let's get, get their mind right and get them back out. I need a recruitment officer at the fucking airport when military people are coming off the plane. I, I need them right there, nigga. Hey, hey, where you going? Where you going, sir? Hold on. You, you want to sign this, this police officer application? We provide housing. Uh, we got room, board, dorm, all that. Whole college campus, nigga. Like when we get cops to start doing that, Fuck MTA. You got, they try to put money into these train stations and bullshit. No, 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 no. Get us a better training program for these cops and the world is going to know. I Trust me. Trust me. And then also give some money to internal affairs. I want the same level of training for these niggas. They need that Quantico shit. I need internal affairs to be fucking super spies. I need an internal affair person to be able to pull they wig and mask off and it'd be a whole nother nigga like they the master of disguise nigga am i turtle enough to be in a turtle club that's what i need for the internal affairs we need super spies over there so they could catch these dirty cops and we need cops to be like captain america we do that nigga <sighs> don't be a fucking rap i'm telling we're gonna be good i don't think americans mind spending their tax dollars on that because it's gonna be so beneficial my nigga <laughs> yeah Crime going to be da down Batman level. It's going to be Gotham in this bitch without the bad parts. That's my personal opinion. Driving, and they never made it into that house. She, at first, she didn't remember going to the house, but then when she was confronted with it, she did remember it. Then she didn't remember seeing them go in the house, and then she did. Okay? When they came around the corner, yeah. she seen I've where he was laying. House. I've 100% met some bad cops in my life. Like my whole life, I was conditioned to hate cops. And then I met some really, really good ones. The two cops that used to always visit us when I was living in the group home. Like, they, yo, these two cops were neighborhood cops that constantly checked on us. 
to make sure, you know how many times I got into a fight and a cop, instead of dragging me to jail, dragged my ass by my collar back into the group home? Get, get your ass in here, beast. What the hell's wrong with you? Be fighting outside like that. Think of this is, they cared about us, right? Like having that type of influence, right? And them doing funny things that was like similar to super bad. I remember we would be walking home. They would just hop out the car while I was still driving. That shit was hilarious, bro. Hop out the car, still moving. Kind of look cool and shit. I'm like, how many times you practice that, officer? How many times did you practice that shit? He like only like a few, like ten times. I'm like, come on, my nigga. <laughs> but these were they were good cops. They patrolled the neighborhood. They made sure the shit was shit like good, like that. And as well as the people that got me into mixed martial arts and taught me jujitsu, I was trained by cops without knowing it was cops until after the fact, right? And it was some of the the best people I've ever met in my life. So. Yeah, I've met a lot of really good cops and I know a lot of the crazy conditions and things that they have to go through. The cop that trained me, I ain't going to say his real name, but his nickname was Superman. They called him that because while he tried to get a criminal, they all beat him with pipes and he never let go of the criminal. These motherfuckers are so crazy. They're beating cops with pipes. You, you think that they don't, these cops, come on, bro. They, that's their mentality has to be a little bit different. <laughs> Because this is the shit they dealing with on the regular and then we just don't see it. They don't get publicized. When things happen to cops for real, for real on a daily basis, it does not make the news because people just take it as that's your job to deal with it. Okay, cool. But then we got to understand that. You know how scary a fucking traffic stop has to be? Terrifying. You do a traffic stop and see how scary that shit is. You do a traffic stop. <laughs> Yo, I've seen some of the craziest traffic stops that turn into... To fucking um, what's the name of that damn movie that I like so much? Uh, in Mexico, not Quantico. Sicario, that's an underrated movie, guys. Part one and part two. Um, Sicario. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, part one. There's a scene when they on the highway. Nigga, this this shit that like that that happens on a regular basis to cops. So think about it. And then there's also some dumbass cops that do stupid shit too as well. I seen one that did this thing with a dog. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, I'm so glad he got fired. I'm so glad. Like, no one told him to let that damn dog loose. He lets the attack dog loose. A mile away. So here's the thing. When she hit him, she knew she hit him. She knew she hit him. And she yeah, left him laying good. there. That's why when she went back, she knew exactly where he was at. So she may have been, you know, trying to render aid to it him. It isn't easy. Panicking. It isn't coming easy. But either I way, she was drunk. And it's hit this man. There's a lot but of But if you listen to these people spin it, you know that these cops are all corrupt, are that the paramedics are corrupt. Because remember, she told the paramedic, I think I may have hit him. Now the paramedics line, the police are lying, everybody in the house is lying, right? No, the only people out here lying and spreading misinformation is Baby Gap and Turtle Boy. Okay. You are the fuckers that are lying. Not the families that y'all are harassing and hurting, okay? That had nothing to do with the death of this man. Retired law enforcement investigators who have YouTube channels. And I support all of them 100%, except for, of course, Mr. Chris McDumbass. Yeah, you're baby dumbass, okay? You're just as dumb. Look, so here's the thing. Just because you're a police officer don't mean you can't be wrong. Okay, there's police officers in this world that are wrong all the time. Okay, a lot of times they're right. You know, they do have more uh, credentials, but that don't mean they're always right. Now, these police that he's going at believe that Karen Reed is guilty and the police had nothing to do with it. I also believe that, but I ain't saying that because I'm saying sometimes just because you're a cop don't mean that you're always right. Okay, I've seen cops. I ain't gonna mention no names and try to disrespect people, but I've seen former law enforcement officers up here be absolutely wrong about things, okay? So I'm just going to throw that out there. Let me actually talk about that. So, yeah, I don't... I, I, I can't stand... That guy sucks. Um, I don't want to keep but, interjecting too crazy. I'm going to let it play for a little bit longer. Um, but that's something I can't stand. That's like a pet peeve of mine. On YouTube, somebody think just because someone was had a job or a certain qualification means that they were good at their job. And that is not the fucking case. I'm sick of seeing these YouTube lawyers. I'm sick of seeing these YouTube cops, all this other shit, man. They might have been good 
or they might have been trash and did nothing. They might have been crooked. We don't know. Just because somebody used to be something or wasn't, that doesn't mean they're good. If they were a good lawyer, you think they would have time to be on YouTube? No, no, think about this. Like, and I'm not even trying to take shots at anybody in particular. If they were such a fucking amazing lawyer, you think they would have time to sit there on YouTube and review stuff from entertainment? No, they, they, they would be the actual entertainment lawyers. They would be the ones actually defending these people in court, not reviewing it to a bunch of people on YouTube. Now, am I saying that they're not qualified? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, take it with a grain of salt. Think about it. There's a great saying. I learned this from fame. Right? Some people are meant to do and some people are meant to teach. It just is what it is. You have, might have been in a field and learned so many skills, but you might not be the best at that shit or good enough to where you are competing. So it's your job to teach. With that being said, we should take the teacher's words with a grain of salt. Because the teacher, you know, is right. Right? That's just, that's just me. That's, I just notice it. You got people that, oh, I'm a body language expert. Nick, for real? And you telling me how to spot out a, a someone that's a sociopath? So a sociopath wouldn't acknowledge that people can tell that he's moving a certain way and then changing a certain way? You think a, a sociopath doesn't learn how to pretend to be normal? So his body language would be fraud as fuck. It would be body language that he picked up from people that didn't have the same problems he had. So your detection process would be flawed. And if you were so good at fucking profiling people, you would have worked for the FBI. I'm, I'm just sick of it, guys. <laughs> just because someone has some kind of stuff, it don't mean that they the fucking source. But that don't mean that you shouldn't, you know, hear it out. Just take it with a grain of salt. It's not the end all be all. Somebody's a fucking therapist and they talking about some, I'm diagnosing niggas online. What? Nigga, where's your clients? Because I know if you had clients, let me have been seeing a therapist and find out they're a YouTuber diagnosing Shane Dawson and shit. You don't get up. I'm, I'm out. Nigga, recommend me somebody else <laughs> before you talking about my case on there. That's because I think yeah. he abuses his, uh, his title, his position of being a uh, former law enforcement and uh, does not actually. I think you abuse your title of being an absolutely fucking nobody is what I think. You're abusing that. Okay. Could you be a nobody that's a little bit quieter? Actually use his. And take that damn ha dog home you stole. It's Christmas. Some kids crying right now. Talking about, where's Sparky, daddy? Uh, Gray here doesn't always mean wisdom. Exactly. That's something I said since a kid. Right? Some people would give me advice and I'm like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes they did not know what the fuck they was talking about. Like, people just be talking. Right? And you don't believe me? Look through my YouTube comments and see all the fucking the the fucking YouTube experts. <laughs> hey man, if you did this, your channel will blow up. If you talked a little bit less and played more clips, your channel will blow up. They so smart, they don't even know about copyright. <laughs> At all. They so fucking smart. They don't even know about copyright. But they could go in my comment section and tell me what I need to do in order for my channel to blow up. As if they just know my goal, as if blowing up is what I'm aiming for. Right? This shit. Everyone's a fucking expert, bro. Everybody's like, you got one fucking 10 subscribers, you over here telling other people with hundreds of thousands what the fuck they need to be doing. That is insane to me. It's insane as hell to me. Everybody wants to be a fucking expert. I have enough experience to teach martial arts. Do you see me on this motherfucker teaching you how to throw kicks and punches? No. Have I taught classes before? Yes. Am I an expert? No. I would say I'm sufficient, but I'm not a fucking red belt, right? Or a high level black belt or something of that nature, right? Nah, hell no. No, 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 no. But I'm honest. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to make it seem like they are experts. Most people that take a few gym lessons or gym classes, they'll tell you that they're fucking mixed martial artists. I know because I used to go to the bar with them and sit there and see them lying to the girls. Yeah, you know I'm a fighter. The only one that ever competed was me. I'm sitting there laughing at these niggas like, wow. And they're sitting here, like, yeah, you know, I'm a fighter, you know. I should be going to the, you know, 170 weight class. Nigga, shut up. Watch the fights. 
Just watch, just watch. Shut up. Drink your, your drink. Watch the UFC, nigga. Like, we, we chilling. Stop trying to make it seem like you bigger than what you are. A lot of people do that shit. His experience. Dad's like, I'm sorry, son. A e spanker got her. Uh, in a positive manner to yeah. um, provide insight. Uh, they do get mad stuff wrong. And I think that that's dangerous. He's not actually doing fun. the work. No. <laughs> Baby Gap, if you're still here, why do your eyebrows point straight up? I'm just curious. I'm just curious how you get them bitches to go straight up like that. That's weird. Um, <laughs> you look like the angry emoji. Angry. Uh, right. You <laughs> you, I'm glad we agree on that. Um, I, I've never discussed this with anyone. Uh, I'll tell you exactly how you got it to do that. <laughs> Nigga, Lucifer always had eyebrows like that. Nigga Glara looking like a Twilight Zone Lucifer, nigga. That's how that's why his eyebrows look pointed up, nigga. They all float down here. That's, that's you should have kept it that way. You should have absolutely kept it that way. Maybe you should not you should discuss be, anything be, with anybody. Uh, I think you would be better off. You know what I'm saying? Baby Talk baby. to the mop. I think that I'm I'm uh being very candid with you guys here. And why is his name Baby Gap? Because he shops at the Baby Gap. Do you see how tight that shirt is? Look at his neck. He cannot breathe. There's no way. Look at he look. He's thinking, yo, this shirt makes me look buff. He made a conscious decision when he got up to put that extra small tight ass shirt on. A grown ass man. Okay. A grown ass man that can't pick out clothes that fit him. Like you don't know what size you wear, bro. Okay. You know that shirt. You don't you don't know like you just go into the adult section. Tight. Just walk over an aisle, okay? That You're shit. like in the height. This nigga, I could tell you what the Glover's blood pressure is right now. He ain't doing good. You need less salt, actually. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell you less salt, bro. Less salt. Yeah, you wildin'. You need less salt, bro. Because you, your blood pressure is going crazy. That's how tight his shirt is. Now, like the youth department, you, 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 teenage kids can't even fit into that shit. Okay. No, no specs. And um. The gentleman on the thing. That's why they call him woman sex. Baby gap. Okay. You can only get clothes that size from the baby gap. Police off the glitter is wearing a blouse right now. Right now. Uh, are definitely uh, former law enforcement or retired law enforcement investigators who I do respect very much, uh, along with channels like Duty Ron. Um, the ones and, that shout, you know what? But they don't respect you. That's the thing. You can respect all these channels. But they just look at you like the fool that you are. All right? They're like, listen to this fucking idiot. Like everybody else. So you can have all the respect in the world, but you got to get that respect returned. Okay? And when you come into a room, all people smell is a shitty diaper. Okay? A whiny ass baby bitching, crying about everything on the internet. He's not lying though. He ain't Yes, lying. we are talking real police officers. Um, Drunk and- baby. Um, so I, I, but he, I have to, he knows more. He knows more than these real police officers do this with kids gloves here. Um, because I, first of all, first of all, first of all, Glare, you can't even mention the words gloves after you backed out of our boxing match. This is guys. He, he's the one that offered me. He offered me and he ran, man. I, I'm going to start talking about this more because that fam, I, I wanted to do it. I said yes. I said yes. I just didn't want to do it for free. They said they was going to send me a contract and then the Glover ran, bro. He ran. He was like, oh, wait, hold up. I don't, I don't think this would be the best move. I don't think this would be the best move for me. Uh, I don't, yeah, maybe I shouldn't box BXB. Then, then you should have never offered, bitch. Now I'm going to hold you to it. What's up? When are we doing this? This is going to be sanctioned. We're going to get paid. What's up? I'm just not doing it for free. I ain't doing it for free. Do you respect uh, these gentlemen from this channel? Uh, I got to do it with kids gloves. So you scared to say what you want to say? Because you's a bitch. Uh, very much so. Uh, and yes, Bill. Can- hey, look, this is what you call throwing shade without acting like you throwing shade. It's like, yo, I'm going to shit talk you, but, you know, I'm going to do it with respect, with like, you know, with kids gloves on. 
I'm going to do it with kids gloves on because he got those kids gloves in the same department. He got that little tight ass shirt. That's what I mean. You got to stop shopping in the kids department. Why don't you get on some grown man gloves? Some grown man. Yeah, that was funny. He got kids gloves because he in the kids department buying that kid ass shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. He could have set it up better, but the joke itself was funny. And clothes and do some grown man shit. Okay. You act like a little bitch. You shop in the kids department. You still probably buying yourself toys for Christmas. You could have went out and damn got fucking club or a ball. No, you probably went out and got you a G.I. Joe man. That's the kind of dude you look like. And absolutely. Bill's, I, 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 I respect the hell out of Bill. And and I- Bill don't respect you. I don't know. I don't know Bill. But if Bill respects you, me and Bill got beef. And Bill sounds like a cool <laughs> dude. Okay. <laughs> This thing is crazy. All right, man. Yo, listen, listen, listen. Y'all tell Dolly I want to talk to him, bro. Like, yeah, let's squash it. This this nigga is hilarious. Nigga said, yo, I don't know, Bill. <laughs> Me and Bill got beef, nigga. <laughs> nigga said, listen, I don't know who Bill is, but if you cool with Bill, fuck Bill, nigga. All right. <laughs> tell Bill I want the smoke, nigga. Fuck that nigga. I say the same shit. I just say it nicer. It was like, nigga, I don't mess with anybody that affiliates with the glare. If you cool with the glare, stay away from me. This nigga said, yo, you cool with the glare. We got beef, nigga. Fuck you. And, and I build on respect. Tell about interview him. Let's squash it, man. Let's have a respectful conversation. Cause that, this nigga is hilarious, bro. And it's not even like what he's saying necessarily is the way he's saying that shit that it's fucking hilarious. And he said, Bill, me and him got beef. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know, Bill. What are you? But if Bill respects you, me and Bill got beef. And Bill. <laughs> now, that's funny. He said, listen, I don't even know, Bill. But if Bill respect you, me and Bill got beef. I, nigga, me, anyone who got respect for you, nigga, we got problems, bro. Me and him got to have words. We got, we got to. That's a certain level of hate and disdain, my nigga. You got to hate somebody to hate them like that. Oh, yeah, my neighbor's young. It sounds like a cool dude, okay? Niggas, any cool dude ain't going to respect you. Fuck Bill. I'm going to <laughs> discuss Bill uh, a recent video. I'm going to review a recent video now. Um, before I do, let me go ahead. Let me do this real quick. Um, you not even get to that full whatever the hell girl. and i'm also i forgot to put this in the in the in the description i feel stupid uh for- you should you should okay you should feel stupid one because you simping for a grifter okay and what's so bad about that like i said if you hadn't spent a year preaching about showing up trying to get people fired from their jobs, harassing families, calling people's houses. You spent a whole year bitching about that. Bitching, 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 bitching. And now you out here white knighting for a dude that does it worse than anybody else that openly says he's doing it for money. Openly. Like, don't hide the fact he's not cutting in this lady on nothing. He's selling merchandise with her name on it. And getting all the profit off of it. it. He's raising money. Things of that nature. Just the biggest griff in the world. Ain't even a true crime guy. Okay? That you're white knighting for your hero. This world award winning journalist. Okay? Is he? For that, but... Um... More award winning journalist. That just reminded me that I was in a newspaper. I forgot about that shit. It was supposed to be an interview, but then I turned it down. And they quoted me anyway. So if you look that shit up, you can see some quote. I think it was like some YouTuber got arrested and I roasted the fuck out of him. And they was like, yo, can we use you as a source and blah, blah, blah. And I talked to my people and I, they was like, yo, they might flip your words. So I say no. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. So I told them no. I was like, yeah, I'm not down with doing no interviews for no newspaper. And then they quoted me anyway. <laughs> they, qu- they quoted what I told them when I said no. I was like, yo, listen, I ain't down for no interviews. All I know is he nasty. <laughs> he a nasty, nasty person. And now people see it. 
And he dead quoted that shit like in BX Beast Boy says, I don't know anything else, but he a nasty, nasty. I was like, see, they even flipped the word in a little bit of that. See, I should I was right for not doing an interview. But thank you there. I see you. Yeah, this is funny. I haven't heard him make one valid point. We're fucking. Thank you. Let's see how far we're into his video. Twenty-two minutes into a video, this man ain't made one valid point that makes me believe that anything he's saying about Karen Reed, she's innocent. Okay. If you thought that the glare was going to make a valid point this entire conversation, you just as foolish as he is. Okay. You just you just as foolish. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, damn well. He ain't gonna make no valid point. Okay. You crazy? Nothing. Everything is, give me a fact that is, it, here's your best argument, and I'll give you your best argument, and then I'm gonna shoot that down. The search for how long does it take for somebody to die in the cold. That is strange. Okay? But under the circumstances, when you hear the story, how it's told. It is strange, but. I'm sure many people have looked that up. One of my favorite TV shows when I was young was a show called A Thousand Ways to Die. Pretty sure that was what it was called. Pretty sure that's what it was called. But I used to love that show and it was morbid as hell. But I, I liked it. Old is when she was panicking, she was asking the girl, is he dead? And she searched, how long does it take to die in the snow? Because she was playing like she didn't know if he was alive or dead. And, you know, at the time he was found, he was still alive. Crazy he had some skull fractures, probably because when he got hit by the car, he fell back and hit his head on the concrete. Okay. If she looked it up four hours before his body was found, that sounds wild. Then, yeah, that's, that's extremely, um, and they say she innocent. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So what they're saying is like, she just coincidentally searched four hours before. Okay. All right. I sound retarded. Who is saying she innocent again? I don't even know much about this case, but that one detail sounds crazy. So she looked it up four hours before and people were saying, oh, well, no, she, sometimes people just look stuff up. Okay. So Jen looked it up. Okay. 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 Something's going on. I need to find out more. But that one detail, that sounds wild. So they looked up four hours before. Concrete. That's why he had black eyes That's because wild. imaging of the brain, the pressure caused his eyes to black. Okay? So he wasn't beat up. He was hit by a car and he was knocked backwards and his head hit the concrete. Okay? He don't have injuries significant with somebody beating his ass. He ain't, he ain't missing no teeth. So nobody punched him in the in the mouth, okay? Because he ain't nobody kicked him in the face because he would be missing teeth. He's not missing any teeth. The dog bites are not dog bites. I ain't never seen a dog dog yet that don't have a bottom jaw, okay? You show me a dog out here biting people without a bottom jaw, and I will kiss your ass, okay? Definitely not dog bites. I've had every kind of dog you can think of, pit bulls to chihuahuas. That ain't no dog bite, okay? And all my dogs I had have bit somebody. <laughs> so I've seen every kind of dog bite you can think of. And that damn sure ain't no dog bite. And I'm an expert, okay? I'm an expert. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. Definitely not a dog bite. There ain't nobody sitting around in their house with broken pieces of taillight waiting to sprinkle it in the yard. You sound like a fucking idiot. Let's continue. Okay. So um, I'm going to put the video link in the chat and please guys take a second i'm also going to pin it um that dog's probably running around with his his stinking ass e-sock in his mouth you know what i'm saying the oh, e spanking ass <laughs> yeah, there's more details Poor i would have to know about this there's more details i have to look into but i think we got a good roasting from there <laughs> i think we got a good roasting Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Let Dolly know. I want to talk to him. That, that nigga said. <laughs> that was the funniest shit he said. Out of all the things he said, that one line had me cracking up. Because I don't even know Bill. But if Bill respect you, we got beef. <laughs>
Yo, Bill, don't don't run into Dolly, son. He gonna aggressively try to snatch a, a fucking uh, what do you call that shit? Speakerphone out your damn hand. He gonna fail too. You know, Dolly ain't got no grip strength in any way, shape, or form. Um, but boy, was that a funny line? That was a funny ass line. Yeah, I'm gonna look more into the case.